Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies and in this video I'm going to show you how to remote control Zoom using Zoom OSC so that you can set your own camera, mic device, uh, mic level, things like that. So we'll walk through the different things that you can have control of via OSC for your different settings and inputs. And uh, then at the end we'll do a little demo where I'll read a section of text and adjust my mic level using my Korg Nano control with the MIDI fader. So let's get right into it. So here we are inside of Zoom, and I'm contributing my own audio video into this meeting so that we can make a recording of it, and I can splice that in as needed. Um, you'll note that my uh, audio device right now is set to my Motu M2, and my video device is currently OBS Virtual Camera, so I'm passing a copy of my recording into the meeting there. Um, I am going to now use the BitFocus Companion to be able to set this device to my uh, either Spout Camera. Let's do VMix Video, actually. That'll give us uh, should give us some bars on screen that we'll be able to look at. Yeah, if I switch over to that, there, I get these bars, so... Um, I'll leave myself on OBS Virtual Camera for now, and then we will pop into the uh, to the BitFocus Companion. So here we are, and we're going to do sort of a classic integration. I'm going to create a regular button. I'm going to let's do a uh, let's send a string, and the command is slash zoom slash me to set my own device slash set camera device, and then we have to pass in a string that is the name of the device that we're trying to set. And ours is vMix video. I believe that is the proper way to set it. And I'm going to set the text is going to be um, set vMix camera. I think it looks something like that. And inside my emulator on page 10, when I hit the set vMix camera button, you will see my video input change to the bar. And so I can go back here now and I can copy paste this key. And I can edit it and I could say, all right, I don't want vMix video. I want. Uh, OBS. So what was the full name of that input? Let's take a look at the Zoom call and say, okay, this is OBS Virtual Camera. So over here, we're just going to say OBS Virtual Camera. Set OBS. Let's just leave it as OBS for now. Um, and inside of the emulator now, if I put this side by side, I can hit set OBS and here I am. Then I can hit set vMix and I'm back to the virtual input there. So now I've made a little switcher for my own contribution to be able to get into the call. And this can be helpful for a number of reasons. You know, if you were using um, MIDI pedals or something like that to be able to change your inputs or you needed some other uh, quick controller just to have the stream deck there to change your own input directly inside of Zoom, that would be a, an interesting way to do that. You can do the same thing with audio devices. So you can pick any device on this list, pass it by name. Um, you can also pass it by ID. So you can say that, all right, let's say spout cam. Spout is 0, 1, 2, 3 on this list. So I can make another input and I can make this just using a numeric argument. So again, I'll make a regular button. I will send an integer and I will send the integer 3. And again, it was slash zoom slash me slash set camera device. And this will be spout. And when I go over into the emulator and I hit spout, it changes my video to the spout, which defaults to a static. Um, and I can go now vMix and back to OBS to get my own video feed back into the call. Um, so this is a way to switch your own video using Companion. Now, most people will pass this through a software switcher like OBS or vMix or something like that. But if for some reason you needed to change genuine inputs or you weren't able to deploy that other infrastructure as a virtual source before going into Zoom, this is how you can set the vMix uh, or the OBS or the spout input directly inside of the call. Um, so that you don't have to be thinking about those um, those intermediate layers. Um, the thing that's super helpful for is when you're trying to control talent on the far end. We have the remote control system inside of Zoom OSC Pro. So you could uh, specify somebody by their username and then also set their camera for them on the far side. But a really interesting example of this is being able to take control of another user's mic level using the same system. So I'll show you how to do this for yourself. And I'll use Isadora to do this because it's a little more natural for me to take an analog fader and pass it into Isadora. So... This patch looks scary, I know, but actually 95% of this is just me rate limiting my um, my OSC uh, so that I don't send you know hundreds of messages per second when I'm trying to set the uh, the fade device, and that will you know keep. Uh, right now, I'm using about uh, three samples a second um, as I move this fader. So here is my Korg Nano Control. It's a MIDI device that's inputting a signal inside of Isadora. And uh, what's going to happen here is as I adjust this fader here, this is going to fade my mic up and down. Now, in order for you to see that, I'm going to have to make a recording. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to start a, uh, a local recording on this computer so that my mic input, which is currently being passed in, will actually be adjusted live as we do this. So I'm going to pull up a, uh, a sample of text and I'm just going to fade this fader up and down. And again, all this Isadora patch is really doing is it's uh, taking a subset of the MIDI inputs and converting them into OSC. You'll see that the command that we're sending is slash zoom slash me slash set mic level. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, read some silly text and I'm gonna record a video of me adjusting this fader and we'll splice it all together. Here is a sync just so you know that it all is together. And now I'm gonna start making the adjustment and reading. One night I was sitting on the couch watching my favorite TV show when I heard a voice say, come here my child. followed it into the kitchen. I was surprised to see a giant can of Chef Boyardee stood there in amazement wondering what would happen next. Then he broke the silence and said, why haven't you been eating your Chef Boyardee, my child? So that's a quick video of being able to adjust your own audio contribution into Zoom using MIDI. Again, the, the idea of it would be that you would be able to use either Streamweaver or the Zoom OSC Pro remote control system to set this on the behalf of somebody else and actually live mix inside of Zoom. And maybe we'll get a demo together of that and show you how that would all come together. But for now, that's how to uh, remote control your own audio video devices inside of Zoom using Zoom OSC. Let us know if you have any questions.